Um, let me tell you. Number one, David, we had a talk. And David and I, when we first talked, we first met, David um, knew that I was really into helping people. And I had so many people who had been hurt in the past. In whatever situation they came to me with, they had been hurt in the past. And they had lost so much. And they were like, I have no more hope. It can't happen. It just won't happen for me. I've lost so much. I, this, that, I got bills, I have children, I have mortgages, I have whatever. And literally I've been prayerful every day. And I've been saying this to my team every day, I'm prayerful. Everything happens for you all. And I just sent messages out earlier saying, I pray that every one of you receive what he has in store for you on this day. And wow. You know, David, man, let me tell you, wow. That's, that's a leader, that's a, that's a person who puts his heart into it. He wears it on his sleeve as well, but he puts his heart into what he wants to accomplish for everyone around the world. And it's not just me. And the thing of it is, is he, when he resonates and he speaks about helping people, everyone that you come across that's a part of this core team, everyone wants to help someone else. And giving that sentiment and having it in your heart, you can't share false presentation of true love for other people, other human beings. And being a selfless servant, and as you said, Lavelda, he could have given up so many times previously in life. And you know, <laughs> I'll tell you, so many other people have, but he had the fortitude, intestinal fortitude, pride, motivation, self-determination to keep going for other people. It wasn't about him. And if you always hear him say it was, it was other people. He met this person. He dragged Nalani in. Look at all of the people Nalani affected because she was a vessel and Greg, I mean, Greg and David both gave her that opportunity, that platform to ensure she was successful. So many people, countless people on this call that are here listening, wondering, is this real? Go to your back office right now and you'll see it for yourself. Imagine putting a thousand percent in like some of us do each and every day and it's not about us. It's about the people we're helping to change their lives. The medical bills that we know come each and every month, the mortgage payments, the funerals that we pay for, these are real life circumstances that everyone can attest to. But to understand now, you can affect someone's life because one man took the leap of faith and never gave up. You know, I sent a message to, to my son's team a couple weeks ago. And I said, quitters never win and winners never quit. And I shared the message about David. He doesn't know this, but I shared a message about David to these 10 year olds, 11 year olds. And I said, you can easily give up. But what about if you stay in the fight? Isn't the reward even greater? Because look at the effects you have on other people's lives, not just ours, but so many countless people, David will never know. But I know for a fact, two o'clock this morning, he was helping to take care of people on my team, things he didn't have to do, but he did it and he called back and he checked back. He sent messages. He didn't just do it, but he followed up. And man, let me tell you, thank you. Appreciate all you've done and all you're gonna continue to do because you got a hell of a team behind you that are gonna push you and make you keep going. So thank you for all that you've done for us. Greg, salute you too, King.
Isaac, that's so passionate. I love, I, I, you mentioned, there's something you mentioned earlier that I'd love you to dive into a little bit more. You mentioned medical expenses and, um, and they can be such a big burden for people. How can you see Co-op Crowd helping people um, with, with their medical expenses or business owners um, using it on a daily basis? How do you see Co-op Crowd kind of fitting into that? You know, uh, it's amazing that you asked that, Lavelda, because just yesterday evening, I just shared with about three new companies about co-op, right? And so when you look at it, I know personally, my sister has stage four lupus. She's, she goes through dialysis. No insurance company will cover her. And you know, it's, it's crazy because I have got a... We just got a doctor that's called right before the Zoom. And I don't know if you saw my mic was off and I wasn't involved, right? Because I have a Zoom at 4.30 where a doctor's going to talk to us, uh, the family, about a brother that's on life support right now. He was doing better, but right back on. And these are the things that allow me to funnel and pay for and do the things because everyone's not capable. But when we wonder why God puts us in certain places, these are the reasons why, because it allows us to do things that we don't know is coming. But I don't have a worry because I know now, again, I can continue to take care of my family. You know what I mean?